welcome to today's episode uh, before we start this video i would request you to like our channel to subscribe our channel like this video and share this information with your friends so this video is dedicated for the steam piping before the uh, before starting this video uh, we will understand the why this steam is used basically uh, there are variety of applications uh, for which this steam is required in industry the most important uh, i can categorize these two as uh, one where the steam is used for power generation in that case the steam is a high pressure steam and it is a, a superheated steam whereas for uh, other normal applications it can be used for cleaning uh, or it can be used uh, as a heating medium in a process and so many other several applications are there so in this uh, short video we will understand the entire steam engineering system and uh, what are the important uh, important points in that uh, how it is uh, how it functions so once you understand these uh, concepts which we are going to discuss in the videos if you are working for power projects or if you are working on steam line it will be very easy to understand you uh, so many concepts which are associated with those kind of projects so first we will see here the low pressure and high pressure steam steam system so how uh, it is classified so on the left hand side we have this low pressure steam and on right hand side uh, the high pressure steam so basically any steam system which is having a pressure of less than 15 psig that is one uh, one bar which is equal to one normal atmosphere Uh, is called as a low pressure steam and the one which is having a pressure greater than 15 psig that is greater than atmosphere that is called as high pressure steam so it's very easy the steam if the steam pressure is less than uh, atmosphere then it's a low pressure if greater than atmospheric pressure it's a high pressure steam okay and of course uh, the temperature is very important and the degree of superheat so normally the high pressure steams are superheated steams uh, or the dry steam which are used in power plants for power generation so application we can see for low pressure it is for cleaning and heating uh, normally in the pharmaceutical industries uh, there are so many other uh, formulations where they require uh, the heating medium and normally the steam is used for that and also cleaning medium when the pipe is uh, because we we know that there are batches in pharmaceuticals or in dairy so if once uh, one batch is run and it is completed then there is a complete flushing of that piping and uh, complete system so because uh, it is expected that no trace of the previous batch should remain in the piping so for that steam plays a very important role in this cleaning process Uh, mostly the cip that is clean in place system is utilized for that uh, so then we will see the high pressure steam that is application is superheated steam for turbines uh, so this is the application so temperature for low pressure steam it never exceeds beyond 250 degrees fahrenheit and in case of high pressure it is greater than 250 degrees fahrenheit and since the pressure and temperature is not that high uh, this low pressure systems need lower maintenance and the high pressure will need a more maintenance compared to the low pressure steam system so now we have a network of uh, steam distribution in any plant like for example there is a boiler house always and that boiler house is the steam generation unit from there we can see this pointer the there is a header system and uh, normally uh, in bigger plants we have a pipe rack which will take this steam to different parts of the plant 
so uh, here we will see that uh, and and of course after that it is distributed to different units so the entire steam header we can see here is a sloped and for a particular reason and at every interval on the pipe rack uh, 30 to 50 meters of uh, distance a steam trap is installed and why the steam trap is installed that we are going to see see uh, steam when it loses the heat because at the boiler house it is having a maximum heat content but even though the steam lines are insulated there is always some amount of heat loss to the atmosphere and that is a natural process and because of this heat loss there is a formation of condensate that is the liquid uh, water okay. so this water will also travel along with the steam so what will happen there will be a friction inside the pipe because water being heavier and steam being lighter it cannot travel at the same velocity so in the same pipe at the bottom there will be water or the condensate and on the top the steam will flow so because of this uh, velocity difference there will be a friction and there will be some uh, unwanted voice and some acoustic problems will be there uh, pollution will be there noise pollution uh, secondly it will also uh, create a a shock or a water hammer because whenever there is a bend that uh, condensate will hit on that bend means the elbow which we have so uh, because and of course uh, the formation of condensate will also degrade the quality of steam so in order to maintain good quality of dry steam saturated steam uh, we there is a system of steam traps and the uh, function of steam trap is that beyond a certain limit if there is a, a condensate formation that condensate is basically uh, drained out uh, removed from the stripe stripped off from the system and this is the con uh, uh, sorry uh, steam trap uh, this is the system of the steam traps so here we can see that the steam uh, is passing through this header and this is a slope here whenever there is a, a condensate formation it is taken out by this uh, steam trap and the pure steam will move up and again enter so the purposely this has been given upward slope so that steam being a gas it is lighter it will move up and whatever uh, condensate droplets will be there along with the steam it will fall down because of the weight so at the end of that is the point of utilization you will always get a good quality steam that is the basic philosophy of this so now moving forward here we can see the steam uh, steam line branching that means if we want to take the branch how it we should take so this is the inlet and this is the outlet we can take the we can take the branching from the bottom as well as from the top but here we have taken the branching from the top for steam because steam being a gas we will get a pure quality of pure quantity of steam and uh, it, it will not have the traces of condensate because condensate if it is there then it will be in the bottom so this is the purpose why we go with uh, how we go with the branching and uh, these are the some important guidelines uh, which are to be considered when we are uh, designing a steam piping or uh, we are during the installation or the construction people they should also be aware of this so steam lines are normally sloped at one ratio 100 applicable governing bodies for steam line is ibr so dead lags are not allowed because if there is a dead lag that means the pipe is moving down and again it is going up so there is always a steam or sorry condensate which is getting uh, accumulated in that dead lag so it's not uh, accepted so steam trap location on the steam header at every 30 to 50 meters that we have seen in the earlier 
slide. So installation guidelines uh, we are going to see. Install piping in con concealed locations unless otherwise indicated. And except in equipment rooms and service areas. Install piping free of bends and sags. Sag means if it gets bent, bend. So there is a bow and in that bow, uh, this condensate may accu accommodate accumulate and uh, it will be a problem uh, install piping to allow installation of insulation that means it should have the shoes shoe supports 3d expansion loops provided at every 40 meters on pipe rack steam header so this will absorb the majority of expansion in the line and uh, the stresses will be in limit uh, install drip lake at low points and natural drainage points such as ends of main, bottom of riser and ahead of pressure regulators and control walls. So control walls are basically for uh, stepping down the steam pressure. Like for example, uh, the main pressure is say 15 bars and for some systems there are 3-4 systems at different location which is having 8 bar pressure requirement, some may have 5 bar pressure requirement, some may have 10 bar pressure requirement and the system main header pressure is say 15 bars. So we have to step down this pressure. For that we have a control station uh, and that control station will have this control wall. So it has to be set at a particular required pressure for that system. So uh, again moving forward, uh, this is a very informative picture wherein you can see that um, always a steam line is having a two fold systems one is the steam and the other one is condensate condensate is basically not desired but because of the uh, phenomena that uh, there is always a heat loss in the system as the heat always for, uh, flows from body at higher temperature to body at lower temperature in spite of the insulation so there is always a heat loss and because of that the condensate is formed so that condensate removal is also a very important uh, activity of this uh, process and for that we have a con separate condensate system here we can see separate condensate system here it is there and uh, again this is a steam line we are having here so this is a control wall and these are the this is actually a system where we have the condensate collected so here this is the drum and this condensate is again used for uh, generation of steam because it is having a very high content heat content and uh, the same condensate is again pumped back to the boiler uh, so because of this the efficiency of boiler is increased so this is all about the steam piping and uh, once again i request you to subscribe our channel and uh, give your valuable feedback in form of the comments uh, in, the, in this video you can post and